The celebrations this year in Moscow, though, overshadowed by Russia's battlefield failures in Ukraine and the Kremlin's ongoing confrontation with the West. Here's more of what the Russian president had to say. The elite in the West, they keep talking of their exceptionalism. They are forcing their will on other nations, forcing their rules on others. But it would appear that they have forgotten what Nazism was all about. Thibaut Pouillet is a former artillery officer and military specialist. He joins me now from Lyon. Thibaut, thanks so much for taking the time to be with us today. Thank you. What did you read into Vladimir Putin's speech today? Did anything stand out for you as unusual or surprising? No, no, it's not. It's unsurprising. It's above all a policy communication in order to justify for uh, the uh, Russian population the, the justification of the war in Ukraine. Uh, Putin said uh, it was uh, an aggression of the of the West, uh, a civilization war, and the Russia, Russia needs to go to Ukraine in order to defend uh, itself. So I, I think it's above all a, a policy communication tool, and uh, it's it's not surprising. A lot of the pageantry was toned down this year compared to previous years. But talk us through the historical importance of this day for Russians, and if it is important for them still today. Yes, yes, it's more important in Russia than, uh, for example, in France, because it's not only a day of the victory in the Second World War, but it's the victory of the Great Patriotic War. So it is the the victory of the Russian will to resist from uh, 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 in, um, Russia, uh, Nazi, uh, Germany, Nazi. Sorry. So it's a way to to say that Russia is resilient. Russia is stronger than any external pressure. So it's a turning point or a turning moment for the national memory each year. Do you think that this commemoration against Nazi Germany can be used by Russia, by Russian authorities to legitimize what's happening in Ukraine now? Yes, because if we remember at the beginning of the war in Ukraine, the special military operation for Russia, uh, they used the justification of the denazification of uh, Ukrainian government, and they always say that it's the same thing, it's a new patriotic war in order to defend uh, Russian population, but also European population against the resurgence of Nazi, of Nazi Ukraine. And uh, Putin always said that he wants to free the Ukrainian population from the Nazi putsch uh, of Maidan. So it's a, a usual rhetoric in the justification of the Ukrainian invasion. What do you think about the state of the Russian army at the moment and its strategy and its success so far in Ukraine? Uh, it, it depends on uh, what you compare. If you compare the Russian army now the, uh, with uh, what it is before the invasion, of course, it's a strategic disaster. Uh, and uh, there are many losses in uh, human forces, but also in materials and weapons. But if we look at the evolution of the dynamic of the conflict after the, the great failure of November uh, with uh, the loss of uh, Kherson city, uh, there is a kind of stabilization in the front and a low but real uh, progression uh, in Bakhmut and in the Donbass. So it depends on what... if you compare, but the problematic of the Russian army now is what you need to prioritize, because there is a, a real dilemma between the, uh, the uh, will to uh, go to the offensive way and to take the Donbass and the problematic on Bakhmut, and in the other way, the need to uh, give some, uh, some energy or some materials to counter uh, the expect offensive uh, of the Ukrainian army soon. What do you think about the role of the Wagner group? There's been a, a spotlight really shown on that group in recent days, that, that mercenary group hired by Russia to fight. How does it relate to the Russian army and, and to the war in Ukraine in the moment, especially given those quite critical comments of the Kremlin from Wagner's leader? During this conflict, we can see that the Wagner group is 
an opportunity and a problematic. An opportunity, uh, an operational opportunity, because it permits to um, do a critical operation with much of attrition, like in Bakhmut. Uh, and because you, this is not a Russian conventional solder, it's less problematic uh, when you uh, have a lot of attrition. But it's now a real problematic for uh, for Russian, but on the political uh, point of view, because of the uh, uh, disparities, uh, uh, conflicts between uh, regular forces, Wagner groups, and uh, I, I think Prigogine, uh, it's uh, more and more a political uh, uh, character in the Russian uh, uh, special uh, operation. So, so it's more uh, problematic in the political uh, point of view, but it's also still an operational opportunity uh, in uh, in uh, the uh, critical areas of operation. Thibaut, thank you very much for sharing your expertise with thank us. Thibaut Fouillet, a former artillery officer and military specialist, speaking to me from Lyon.